What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be an update video, but I'm not going to display the albums I've picked up for this video. And yet, I know it is extremely late at this point that I should have done the video a few weeks previously. Because the work that I've been doing outside of YouTube is still going ahead for now. It's hectic. It involved a lot of time to do stuff for me and the family. Lots of stuff has been moved around, which means that I won't be able to show which albums I've picked up from the last month. I apologise for that, but I thought I would like to do the video anyways to say which albums I've bought. I'll start with the CDs first. So, the first album I've picked up is from a band called Discharge, and the album is called Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Now, this album has been known as one of the greatest debut albums of all time in terms of the hardcore punk genre. And I do like some styles of punk rock music, and this debut album has been... Uh, not escaping in terms of hearing a lot of praise and opinions through different people. So I decided to pick it up. I haven't checked it out yet, but because I wanted to check it out for some time, I have bought it on CD just to, you know, get my anticipation and uh, hype up going to know what the fuss is about and I'm sure that I will really like the album. The next album I've picked up on CD uh, is from a band I've mentioned previously. I believe from one of the live streams. I've bought the debut album from a band called Bark Psychosis. And the album is called Hex. I've talked about the album previously, but... I've been listening to that album constantly on repeat, especially when I decide to go out for walks. I've been listening to the album and it is a masterpiece. I absolutely love this album. It has been one of those albums I've been listening to non-stop on repeat through this beautiful soundscape f sounding and resonating experience. The production is phenomenal. For a 90s album, it is one of, to me, the best produced debut albums that I had ever heard. It's completely gorgeous through the ongoing simplicity of the structures to the songs and the instrumental Pendulum Man is now one of my all-time favourite instrumentals. It's been recognised through a lot of people as one of the first to pioneer the post-rock genre to begin with. I know I've mentioned that previously, but I thought since that really caught my attention, ever since I've discovered the album, I have been falling in love with it. So I'm really glad to have picked up Hex on CD from Bark Psychosis. The next two albums are from a band I have always heard great things about. I've wanted to get into for a long time. This band has been making records through genres like industrial to post-punk, experimental stuff. The band is Killing Joke. I have bought Nighttime and Pandemonium. I haven't heard of Pandemonium yet, but that album has been praised as one of the later classics in their discography. I have heard of Nighttime. I love a lot of the album pretty much straight away. So Killing Joke are one of those other bands who has been influential from then to today. And I was really impressed from what I've been hearing so far I am going to discover more of this band's music now that I've picked up a couple of their albums so far to grow the collection. And the last CD I've picked up 
is from one of my favourite industrial metal bands, or just industrial in general, and it is from Ministry. The album is called The Mind is a Terrible Thing to Taste. That album is my favourite Ministry album so far. I have Psalm 69 on CD, which I really like a lot, but I prefer this album, in my opinion, over Psalm 69. There's this intensity that has been addictive, there's the hook that I've been admiring a lot, and this unique take on production, Al Jorgensen's iconic voice through the genre's history of industrial is always recognisable. It is a crazy album, as well as with the other Ministry albums through their differences in tone and presentation. I know that I've not been a fan of the uh, much later Ministry albums, like with Moral Hygiene, which I've mentioned uh, previously, and the, uh, the, the state of Ministry today in my opinion, has not been as stronger or as consistent as the early stuff, in my opinion. But I do love the Ministry album, The Mind is a Terrible Thing to Taste. I think that is one of the strongest albums through their whole discography. The records I've picked up, I've picked up Strapping Young Lads, Heavy as a Really Heavy Thing. It is a blue-coloured vinyl reissue. I like the album quite a lot, and I do remember that Gene Hoagland, the legendary metal drummer, the Atomic Clock himself, uh, loved the debut. Um, and I think Heavy as a Really Heavy Thing does contain uh, a lot of great material, but for me personally, I think... City and Alien are stronger albums. City be my favourite Strapping Young Lad album. And I'm one of the fans who prefers the new Black over this debut album. But Strapping Young Lad is always one of my all-time favourite metal bands ever since I discovered them from the beginning of the pandemic, pretty much around the same time when I discovered Devin Townsend as a whole. But... Heavy as a Really Heavy Thing is a very, very good album. And speaking of Devin Townsend, I have picked up the 25th anniversary double vinyl pressing of Infinity. Infinity is one of my most favourite Devin Townsend solo albums. I really liked it a lot when I was getting into Devin's work, but Infinity got stronger and addictive I love a lot of the album so much. It's powerful, it's heavy in the experience of it to some songs that I love very much, like Truth and Christine, Bad Devil, Unity. Um, pretty much the whole album is near perfection. And speaking of Devin Townsend, by the way, there are new pre-orders for the reissue of my favourite Devin Townsend album called Terrier. Go and look it up. It's available for pre-order until, I believe, the middle of June. So if you have the chance, do pick up a copy, either through a colour vinyl pressing or a standard black colour vinyl. Um, but I'm really looking forward to pick up that masterpiece on vinyl, because I do adore that album. The next record I've picked up, I have no issues with me listening to this artist at all, because she's one of my favourites. Madonna, Like a Virgin. Like a Virgin, to me, is a really good album, and since that I really like different solo artists, uh... Madonna has been one of those that I always really like to enjoy listening to anything that she does through the popular hits. But 
besides the hits, I wanted to pick up an album to grow the collection. And I have heard really good things on some of the uh, earlier stuff. And I know that Like a Virgin is, I believe, her second album. But I think it is a very well-made record. So I don't have any problems for me to collect any record that features a female artist like I love Aretha Franklin to Joni Mitchell, Amy Winehouse and obviously bands uh, with women involved but Madonna has always been one of my favourites. And the second to last record I've picked up is one of my top five albums from last year. Scaring the Hose by JPEG, Mafia and Danny Brown. It still is a frantic, wild, crazy, experimental effort. These two, I would say, masters of modern hip-hop of today, alongside with Kendrick Lamar and Run The Jewels, these two together. I love Danny Brown. JPEG Mafia is outstanding to listen to his own separate stuff as well. But to listen to the album again, it is still a wild blast to hear it. And I believe I've picked up the uh, uh, white coloured vinyl pressing of it. So Scaring the Hose was was just amazing to check it out. But the more I listened to it, I fell in love with it so much more. It's terrific, bombastic, and, you know, a hyper, you know, just very describable album. I still could not put into words to uh, say better words about it. But it is near perfection of an album, and it is one of my favourite albums from this decade. The last record I've picked up is Time Impala's album, Lonerism. Uh, this Australian artist who has been praised from what I've been uh, hearing about. Just like when I've picked up um, LCD Sound System uh, because I wanted to discover these albums through praised artists or bands and lo and behold, uh, Time Impala is uh, one of them. I really want to discover newer generations of musicians with a discography that has been, you know, very critically acclaimed to uh, highly positive through not only the critics, but through, you know, word of mouth on the internet as well. So Lonerism, I think, would be a very good starting point for me to discover this artist. And with that being said, guys, that is my update video on albums I've purchased from the previous month of March. Once again, I apologise. I haven't got the stuff to show for this video, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.